Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Wakas. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to calculate the cooling load for Rorkila Odisha India lecture room. Space is lecture room. If you remember that uh, I have calculated the cooling load for the same lecture room for Kilaudisha by using E20 sheet. There I have the same sheet over here. So today I am going to calculate uh, the cooling load for the same space 40 seat lecture room but this time I am going to use HAP software to calculate uh, the cooling load. So let uh, let me open the HAP software and we can start so I have already input all the values into the project of this Odisha lecture room just to save the time but I will show you everything in detail how did I input everything so I will open this project so first of all I have to uh, add the u values for the wall roof window and whatever you have in your project you have to add the u values so first i'm going to add the u value for the outside wall i already added there but i will show you how i add this outside wall u value so just open this one by double click and uh, you can change the name of the wall from here so outside wall is here so I, that's why i added outside wall and the uh, outside uh, surface color is dark which we already discussed while we calculate the cooling load using E20 sheet so since we know that our wall composition if you remember that uh, the overall heat transfer coefficient uh, u value calculation tutorial which i made about a month ago i, I have explained everything about the u value calculation go in detail for u value again so just let me open this overall heat transfer coefficient u value excel sheet uh, our wall composition is uh, we have a brick that is uh, 230 mm we have a plaster that is 13 mm on both sides then air gap then outside film coefficient inside film coefficient so according to this composition of the wall i have uh, made this uh, u value since i don't have a plaster here if you see that I don't have a plaster here so I just add, added this one with the name of plaster and then add these values over here so since we have uh, this is the u values so if you want to calculate the r resistance then it will be the inverse of u value so by taking the inverse of these values you will get the r values so you just have to take the inverse of these values and you will get the R values for each and every uh, like brick, plaster, air gap, outside film coffee and inside film coefficient. So we have to just add these R values over here. So after adding all the, all the R values, so overall heat transfer coefficient U value of the outside wall comes out to be 0 0.192 BTUs per R square feet degree Fahrenheit per degree Fahrenheit. So if you, you remember that from the tables and charts which I use for cooling load of Rorke Laudisha, the exposed outside wall U value is 1.07 watt per square meter Kelvin and uh, if you convert this into BTUs per hour it will be 0.19 BTUs per hour per square feet degrees Fahrenheit. So 0.19. So same 0.192 BTUs per hour per square feet the value which we are going to use for the outside wall. So this is how you have to get the U value for the outside wall. So now second thing is you have to get the U value for the roof. Same way you have to get the U value for the roof. If you go over there, roof U value which we used over here is 0 0.50 BTUs per hour per square feet degree for night. So I have used the same value 0.50 it depends on the composition of the roof whatever the composition of the roof according to that you have to get the u value and then you have to go for windows but move back to our excel sheet and see how many windows do we have in here you can see in the drawing we have four windows that is schedule w1 
if you go back to our tables and charts building spacing you can see that we have a w1 window so as per schedule w1 window its height is one uh, we we are going to get in feet so height is four point width is 4.9 feet and height is 5.9 feet so I already made the schedule for window 1 that height is 5.9 feet and width is 4.9 feet and the overall u value jo hai, overall u value coefficient is uh, about uh, we can see from and the overall u value you can see from the tables and charts which I already discussed before that is 0.99 BTUs per hour per square feet per degree for height of the glass so 0.99 and the overall shading coefficient which we used is 1 if you remember that we used 1 shading coefficient for in our excel sheet so we are, we are that's why we are using 1 over here also so just ok so now we have selected the wall or outside wall u value roof u value and window u value if you have any door is coming outside so you just need to add the u value in the same way since we don't have in here so that's why i'm not gonna add any door u value so after adding the door value you have to go to the weather uh, weather tab but before going to the weather tab i'm going to close this uh, app software i want to show you one thing let me open again I'm going to open a new one so let me go to the weather tab over here if you open the weather tab we have to select the region first its region is uh, Asia and specific uh, this specific and then location is uh, India and cities so we don't have Odisha over here so what I did is I just edit the data in here for latitude longitude elevation summer dry bulb and summer uh, coincident wet bulb temperatures everything and same way I added the design temperatures also but I can't edit this uh, designs solar temperature as you can see that we can edit this uh, temperature but we can't edit this uh, design solar temperature but the location which I selected it's uh, Ahmedabad and its design solar is almost similar to Odisha so that's why uh, I have selected this one so let me close this one and open again the project same Odisha project so go back to our weather pro tab you can see that Asia Pacific and India or Kila Odisha and the latitude and longitude if you remember that I show you the design conditions tables and charts you can see that latitude longitude is outdoor design temperatures and and this and in this uh, uh, video I am talking particularly about the summer condition in the same way you can do for the monsoon condition so I will show you for summer only so you can see that latitude and longitude is given here everything is given here so I have used latitude longitude and elevation also here and then summer design dry bulb is 109.4 for Orkila Odisha and summer coincident wet bulb is 89.6 degrees Fahrenheit so that's why I've used, used these parameters over here since I'm not uh, uh, focusing on uh, uh, heating load so this I can skip the winter design dry bulb and winter coincident wet bulb so moving to the and this one you can keep the same everything no need to change and uh, design cooling months from January to December we are going to do calculation from January to December go to the second tab temperature you can change the temperatures also over here whatever the temperature for your uh, location you can add in over here but design solar you cannot change this one but if you see the tables which I provided you for solar heat gain factor values let me move back to my table charts over here 
this is the solar heat gain factor values for north northeast and every facing like north northeast east west southeast and south if you see the values over here that is no, not a big difference for Ahmedabad and this uh, Turkey Odisha that's why I have said because I cannot edit this one so is if you see that this value for January is 221 BTUs per hour per square feet this is 203 you can see over here and then we have 231 here for December and 213 here for uh, December and then you can see the values and can compare it you can see that June is 42 and here we have uh, for June is 39 so it's like very close that's why I have uh, selected this location and uh, just select uh, ok and then move to the next tab that is space tab space tab you just go there double click open this one since I have a lecture room so that's why I change the name to lecture room and the floor area is 1322 square feet if you go there you can see the area is 1322 square feet lecture room area is 1322 square feet so that's why I have used 1322 square feet and ceiling height is 11.2 feet ceiling height is 11.2 feet and building weight is average that is medium which we have selected over here so space usage you can select here for the outdoor air when, uh, that is ventilation requirements there are different spaces available over here you can select here so since we have education lecture room so we are going to select this one as you can see that the outdoor air requirement as per ashray is uh, 7.5 for person per person and uh, due to the area is 0 0.06 cfm per square feet so moving to the next tab that is internal first internal you will see the lightning loads so the lights which we have used is like uh, resist unvented and wattage how we will get this one if you remember from the tables in the charts this one is for lightning load since we have a classroom lecture room training room that is that required 1.4 watt per square feet so that's why we have used 1.4 watt per square feet over here and the blast multiplier which we are going to use over here is 1.08 you can get this from the electrical engineer this value this is just a preliminary selection later on you have to get the exact value of for the light wattage you can get these values from the electrical engineer from their schedules and the schedule which I'm going to select here is lightning schedule over here you can create a schedule over here you can select the hourly profiles what time light is going to be turned on for example building uh, working hours in the building is uh, like from 7 am to 6 pm you can select the profile from here from 7 am to 6 pm so other uh, other times like from 7 like uh, 7 pm till 6 am in the morning the lights will be off so you can select the profile from here because it will optimize your load so i'm not gonna go in detail just i have give you a rough idea about this one how to select the profiles and you can give the name over here and then you can assign the profile uh, over here if you have made profile 1 over here you can select the design profile over here and then working days if from Monday to Saturday so you can select the same profile 1 from one day to uh, Friday and if it's Saturday and Sunday it's off then you can create second profile and the lightning will be off you can assign some other values to this one second profile like Day, uh, light is off then you can select over here so there is no task lightning no electrical equipment you can see over here in our excel sheet so then moving to the next tab that is people how many people this is a 40 seat lecture room so we have 40 people over here so if you go back to our tables and charts you can see that seated very light work for the uh, office lecture rooms that is 70 required is 70 watt 
पर सेवेंटी वॉट पर पर्सन इज सेंसिबल एंड फोर्टी फाइव वॉट पर पर्सन इज लेटेंट सो इफ यू कन्वर्ट दिस वॉट टू बी टूज पर और इट विल बी थर्ट टू थर्टी एट फॉर सेंसिबल एंड वन फिफ्टी थ्री फॉर लेटेंट सो ऑलरेडी कन्वर्ट एंड एडिड इन यूर हेयर एंड द स्केजल इन द सेम वे इफ पीपल आर इन द स्पेस you can create a schedule if persons are occupied or unoccupied you can create different schedules and you can select according to the schedule so since i am keeping 24 hour so just for right now but you need to create a schedule also so people schedule i'm going to select over here and there is no miscellaneous load so moving to the next tab that is wall since we have uh, one outside wall that is southeast wall exposed or sun facing wall and the area of this wall you can see that southeast wall that is 14.17 into the height of room is 3.4 so 14.17 into 3.4 that is 48.18 18 square meters if you convert this into square feet it will be 481 10.76 you need to multiply this with 10.76 so this is the length and uh, height is 3.4 This is square meters, so I'm going to convert this into square feet. So need to multiply with ten point seven six. So the gross area of the exposed southeast wall is five hundred eighteen. So gross area here we are giving the gross area, not the net area. So window area will give here. It will automatically subtract. So five hundred eighteen square feet is the gross area of the wall, and window we have four. This is the window one we already created the schedule for window one, and since we have four windows, so we added the quantity four over here, and then you have to select the outside wall which we created before here, and then you need to select the window also which we created before, window one. Then move to the next tab roof. Since uh, I told you, if you remember that I told you about the E twenty sheet, we have a conditioned space above. the ground floor so there is no load due to the roof over here so that's why we are not going to give any load value over here so because we have a conditioned space above the ground floor first floor we have a conditioned space that's why then go to the inf infiltration tab infiltration tab if you remember that infiltration value which we used over here is This is the infiltration uh, air, total infiltration air. That is eleven point seven cubic meter per minute, which we use in our E twenty sheet. So, if you want to convert this into CFM, what we have to do? Uh, one cubic meter per minute equal to thirty five point three one four. So, eleven point thirty five point three one four. So, eleven point seven cubic meter. Thirty-five point three one four equal to four hundred thirteen point two cfm. So same I have used over here four hundred thirteen cfm for cooling, and this will automatically calculate it point eight and one point six seven. Since I am not focusing on heating, so I am just going for cooling off here. So this is how I have got uh, infiltration cfm here. then moving to the next tab floor since we have a floor above unconditioned space since we have a ground floor our lecture room is on the ground floor and uh, below this we have uh, unconditioned space so we have to select this uh, condition here that is floor above unconditioned space then floor area is same as the room area that is 1322 square feet then floor u value if you remember that This is the floor U value over here. That is 0.79 BTUs per hour per square feet degrees Fahrenheit. Same value we have used here. Unconditioned space maximum temperature, ambient at space maximum. Since we know that Orkila Odisha India ambient space temperature is 
so we have uh, write this one 109.4 and unconditioned space maximum we used over here that is 5 degrees less than ambient temperature so 5 degrees less unconditioned space maximum temperature will be 104.4 so this is for the winter so we can skip this one because we are only working for the cooling loads summer conditions and then move to the next step that is partitions if you move to the partition tab you go over there how much is the partition wall area since we know that this south west northeast and northwest these are partition walls because space adjacent to these areas are non condition non condition spaces that's why these are partition walls and the total area is 99.034 square meter partition wall area so if you want to convert this into square feet you need to multiply this with 10.76 that is 1065 square feet so partition wall area is 1066 square feet over here then the u value of the partition we already calculated here you can see that partition wall is 0.33 bit use per hour per square feet 0.33 and same thing you have to use uh, Rorke Laudisha is uh, ambient temperature is 109.4 and unconditioned space maximum temperature will be 5 degrees less than this ambient so that's why 104.4 and this is for the winter conditions so I'm gonna skip this one because we are not working on heating loads or working on leak cooling loads then we have a ceiling partition over here ceiling partition over here this area is same 1322 square feet and the uh, u-value for the ceiling is uh, 0 0.50 so 0 0.50 and same way you have to get these values unconditioned space maximum and ambient at space maximum after that just select uh, ok so everything is done over here all the inputs are done so now last thing we have to create a system so in order to create the system i already created the system but i will show you how did i create the system so just open this one so you need to give some name of your system this is the lecture room ac so i have used lecture room ac then we have a equipment so equipment which i'm going to use over here the split air handling unit i'm going to use here and since this is only one zone so that's why i have uh, used uh, constant air volume single zone you can select different but I am going to use right now is a constant air volume single zone the next step same system components ventilation here ventilation we are going to use over here is a constant ventilation and then unoccupied damper position we are going to keep it closed and leakage rate we can add 5% and then outdoor air co2 level which we are going to maintain is 400 ppm this is uh, a standard which we are going to maintain that is 400 ppm and go to the central cooling and the temperature which we are going to supply temperature which we are going to use is 55 degrees Fahrenheit from the air handling unit and then coil bypass factor which we are going to use to here is 0.12 if you remember that same factor we have used in our excel sheet and then central heating we are not going to use this one because we are only focusing on cooling loads so supply fan we are going to use uh, whatever the fan you you can do this thing later because first we have to calculate the cooling loads so based on the cooling loads and duct routing we have to calculate the static pressure so based on static pressure and CFM we have to select the machine so right now we just have to calculate the cooling load so just leave this part and uh, duct system and then uh, if there is any duct heat gain you have to add this one here duct leakage you have to add in here so after that move to the third tab that is zone components spaces since we have one lecture room so you can click add to add this one in zone since we have only one space in zone so we have already have in here then go to the thermostats thermostat and then cooling temperature which cooling thermostat set point we are going to use is 75 degrees Fahrenheit for cooling 
for occupied positions unoccupied we are going to use at unoccupied means if there is no person inside or holiday holidays during holidays it will be 80 degrees for night and then heating we are not focusing on heating so only for cooling and throttling range is normally 1 2 3 degrees for night so we are going to use 2 and then you can select same way you can create a schedule if people are not in the space you can uh, uh, turn off the machine by creating the schedule for example if it is used from morning 6 till evening 6 you have to create the schedule from morning 6 to evening 6 other times it will be off so same way I, I already created so I'm going to use thermostat schedule here and then supply terminals this one all zones we have only one zone but we are going to use diffuser for this uh, purpose and then sizing data and hydronic sizing and chill water supply temperature which we are going to use delta T is 10 degrees for height and uh, then sensible cooling safety factor which we used is 10% and 5% for latent if you remember that same factors which we have used in our E20 sheet also so after that just select ok and then just select this one right click and view design results and then you can create the report for this one so by selecting all these you can create the report so I'm going to select sizing system sizing zone sizing summary since we have only one space in the zone so it's okay if you select or uncheck this one it's okay because we have only one space in the zone and then early air system load from January till December January till December and then preview this one so as you can see that uh, HAP has generated the report over here so you can see that uh, we have only one zone and floor area is 1322 location is Road Kila, Odisha, India lecture room and air system we have selected is single zone constant air volume split air handling unit sizing from January to December and you can see that the total coil load calculated is 14.4 ton if you go back to our excel sheet for lecture room how much we have calculated here that is 15.1 ton we have calculated by using e20 sheet so 14.4 is calculated by using cap software so it's very close and then total coil load is 172.5 mbh sensible load is 108 mbh and the coil cfm at may 1600 that means may 4 pm is the maximum load going to occur that is 4741 cfm so how much is the total cfm we got for lecture room is 4741 cfm required so if move back to our excel sheet how much CFM how much air quantity we calculated that is 136 cubic meter per minute so if you want to convert this cubic meter to cubic feet per minute that is 1 cubic meter per minute equal to 35.314 cubic feet per minute 35.314 into how much we have here in the excel sheet that is 136 136 so how much 4802 CFM according to the excel sheet 4802 so by using HAP software we got 4742 CFM that's also very close so by using excel sheet and by using HAP software all the results are almost similar so and then if you check the sensible heat ratio which we have calculated by using HAP software is 0.628 that is 0.63 and uh, here we have 0.67 by using excel sheet and then if you want to check uh, you can see each and every data over here in the report that is generated you can see the outdoor air requirements total for uncorrected outdoor air is 379.3 and then you can see the load summary 
you can see the load due to the wall due to the roof doors windows partitions ceiling lights people so everything is calculated here you can see that uh, sensible total load is uh, 98786 and latent is 37251 and the total system load is sensible total system load is 1 one lakh eight thousand two hundred ninety six, and latent is sixty four thousand two hundred and twelve. So if you uh, sum the, this is this means one zero eight mbh. Sensible load is one zero eight mbh, and if you will add sensible plus latent, it will be around one seventy two mbh is the total load as you can see above here. That is one seventy two mbh is the total coil load. One zero eight is the sensible load. So after comparing the results with the E20 sheet, you can see that uh, results are almost similar. So I hope you guys learn something from this video. For more videos, keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.